Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? Happy Memorials Day to you beautiful people, all right? And I hope y'all are enjoying y'all selves. All right, so we got some. This is what we're doing, Memorial Day's cabbage. I got some fresh cabbage right here that I had cleaned up, washed up, wiped down, dried off. Now I got some cabbage that I pretty much didn't cut up by hand. All right. Hey, 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 how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. What I want to do right here is I want to show you guys very easy how I do this here. A little simple and quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, Homemade coleslaw. I mean, man, it's just something. Hey, hey, Andy, what's up? What's up? Hey, Miss Smith, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Mel. Hey, hey. Um, I'm going to say A.D. because I can't pronounce that name. Hey, A.D., how you doing? Hey, Miss King. Hey, hey, Natural Curly Girl, what's up? Midnight. Hey, how you doing? How is everyone? Miss Spears is in the house. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so I'm going to break down these ingredients to you guys real quick. Like I said, it's going to be something easy, simple, or whatever the case may be. So I got a, um, a half of cabbage that I had cut up. That's a half. Came off a good little size head. Then I got like here some um, sugar, which is like a half a cup of sugar. Then I got some vinegar, half a cup of vinegar. I got some sea, um, sea salt. That's some celery salt. All right. So I decided to use celery salt because um, I didn't want to go ahead and use the celery seeds and the salt. So I figured, hey, I got some of this is already blended up. So why not just use that? So this is what I'm going to use to make that their um coleslaw this is an easy coleslaw y'all i'm telling you got some onion powder along with some black pepper and i got some ground um mustard and i got some miracle whip okay don't beat me up because i said miracle whip but you can use whatever the type you know of dressing you like whether it be um hunt whether it be um dukes or hellman's or whatever you know what i'm saying or you can even buy the store-bought um slow dressing if you like or whatever the case may be but this is how i pretty much do it and keep it simple and fresh put this on hot dogs hamburgers eat it with your fish do whatever you can eat this by itself but here we go so the first thing i really want to do is i want to add some of this sugar i don't add all this sugar you be like god I told my they're gonna have sugar diabetes even slow no i'm just gonna add just enough of this sugar in here you know what I'm saying? Because I do like my slaw, my salt, little slaw a little sweet. Okay. And um Mika B is in the house. Wanda is in the house. Miss Spears. All right. So we're gonna put in some of this here um vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. All right. I'm gonna put in all that half a cup in that. And if y'all know already, man, hey, I don't measure nothing. But while y'all are here, hit the like button if y'all don't mind. There's 60 people here right now. If y'all don't mind, hit that like button. I don't like me measuring anything, y'all. So um, that's just how I am. You know what I mean? So I try to do it the best way I can and try to give it to you the best way I know. But I can say just eyeball your food, taste your food. So I'm going to add in a little bit of this here, um, celery salt. So what I'm going to do with this is if this isn't salty enough the way I want it, I'm just going to add just a little bit more, um, just table, not table salt, but a kosher salt to it. But I'm going to taste it after I finish blending this up just to see if it's going to need a little bit more of the um, seasonings or whatever. Larry, what's up, man? What's going on, Larry Evans? What's up? Happy Memorial Day. Now I'm going to add in some of this here onion powder. All right. And if you don't want to use the onion powder, y'all, and y'all want to use, like, fresh onions or something like that, go ahead. Do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Use fresh onion. Use fresh um carrots. Use fresh green pepper. Whatever you want to use it, to add into your slaw, go ahead and do it. But this is, this is my basic type of recipe, man. I'm just, like, I'm that type of dude that want to keep stuff simple and easy and plain Jane as I could possibly get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Keith, you know what I'm talking about? Keith, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, Miss Horton, how you doing? Only measurements when I bake. I know that's right. You better tell it. Hey, Miss Sims, how you doing? How you doing? Happy Memorial Day. Richard, happy Memorial Day. Now I got some black pepper right here, okay? And I'm going to break down the ingredients to y'all one more time right at the end so you know exactly what I got going on. And I like this here. 
black pepper it stands out for real man you don't have to go and buy that old expensive black pepper to make it stand out just going right over there to the dollar store bit lots go to dollar tree whatever get you some of that daggone black pepper and call it the day <laughs> call it the day what's up jack um jack jacqueline and dad how y'all doing how y'all doing purple butterfly hi what's up what's up now i'm putting in some of this here ground mustard all right Putting some ground mustard in there. And now I'm going to add some of my favorite, y'all. I don't know about y'all. Some of y'all might turn your nose, but that's all right. But this is my favorite, my favorite um, Miracle Whip. I put about three good ones in to start out with. Like I said, you could use um, Dukes, Hellman's, or whatever your favorite is or whatever and i just like to mix this stuff up real good before i put it in the fridge and like i say once i get this mixed up i'm gonna toss it in the fridge all right my live bounced off y'all let me go back get it back over here sorry about that but my live bounced off so i got to get it back let me get things back over here Get it like she worried, like she's supposed to be okay. So, like I said, so looking like I might have to add just a little bit more of this here Miracle Whip and get some of the dry parts up mixed up real quick. And I mean, it smells good with that vinegar, and you can smell the. The sweetness of that sugar. All right. Let me wash this off and get me some more of that. What y'all cooking up for Memorial's Day? Come on, share in the comment section with me what you guys cooking up for Memorial's Day. So I got three tablespoons of this here Miracle Whip in there already. I want to add at least around about two more tablespoons. What y'all cooking up for Memorial's Day? This is my simple and easy coleslaw. Let's see, throwing some meat on the grill today, man. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little something on the grill today. And I'll make a B, say coleslaw. Lasagna sounds good right about now. I know that's right. Hey, what's up? I'm going to say G-Man. What's going on, G-Man? Happy Memorial's Day. All right. So that right there, man, is about looking like where I, where, yeah, that's looking like where I want it right there. Like I say, if you want to add a little color to yours, to your um slaw, you can add in some some carrots or some um bell peppers or you could do in some celery or whatever you like in yours. And I'm keeping this one plain Jane. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give this a little taste. See where we at right now. See where we at before I put this in the fridge. I can go with that. I can roll with that. Yeah. I can roll with that. Good God. I can roll with that. Okay. So, we got that done. Still got me little pieces of cabbage here. I'll find something to do with that. Probably give me some smoked sausage. And just cook that up a little bit and nibble on that. But here we go. Mm, that's good, y'all. I got to give me another little piece. Oh, spoon, that's good. I ain't gonna lie. That's real good. Mm. Man. Hmm, that's good. So right there, I put my little cover on. And I put this right on up in the fridge. I'm gonna break down the ingredients to y'all right quick, okay? Oh, uh, hold on. I'm still chewing. Jesus, that's good. Fantastic. All right. So, 
to break down everything that I did, I took a half. I took a half of um cabbage and chopped it up. All right, put it in a bowl. And so I used some sugar here, right? Like I said, you could pretty much adjust the sweetness that you want. I would suggest if you don't like it sweet, sweet, you start real small with the sugar and add as you go as you mix everything. But I did use a half a cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, all right, along with some um, celery salt, okay, and some um, onion powder, along with some black pepper, and some um, ground mustard, and some Miracle Whip. Like I said, you don't want to use Miracle Whip, and you used to Dukes, you use Dukes. If you're used to Hellman's, you use Hellman's. You use whatever works best for you. But I'm telling you, this is basic this is the basic coleslaw that I love to make. And like I said in the beginning, if you want to add a little bit more spark to your um, coleslaw, you could use some carrots, some celery, some green peppers. You know what I'm saying? Or you can, if you don't want to use the onion powder and you want that show enough flavor of the onion, you can go ahead and fix you up, cut you up some onions and dice them up or whatever like that and go ahead and um, add it to it. You know what I'm saying? So this is pretty much basic. Now, since I got this out the way, what I ended up doing, well, I'm going to do some hot dogs, hamburgers on the grill. My wife wants some um, grilled chicken legs and she likes the small legs. I'm talking about them legs that ain't, you know, steroid up and all the other kind of stuff. So... I got some steroids, I'm mean, steroids, Lord help me, Jesus. I got some um chicken legs right here marinated in the um in the bag. And these are some lemon pepper chicken legs. So since I can't barbecue them, I'm gonna go ahead and just do all of these little small look how small these chicken legs is, y'all. They almost look like daggone chicken drumettes. I ain't gonna lie. But that's how she like her legs. She don't like them big old legs or whatever. So I got these marinating. They um lemon pepper. Um, chicken legs and I'm gonna do a video on these chicken legs. You know what I'm saying? So the video is definitely coming on how I start this process as far as the marination I'm gonna throw these on the grill and ladies these for my ladies You can do this on the grill too because I'm gonna set it up the exact same way that I showed you on a previous video On how to cook on a grill. This is another thing that you ladies can do all right, this for my lady friends. Yes, I love my lady friends. All right, y'all. All right, so this is what we got going on with this. All right, next thing that I'm going to do for a little dessert for myself. Everybody don't care for this. Everybody don't care for this. I know, I know. But I'm doing coconut pies, y'all. Everybody don't like coconut pies, but I just love some freaking coconut pies. I'm telling you. So that's what I'm going to make me, a coconut pie. Probably just make two of them. I can eat one now, eat one later. Ha! But yeah, that's about it. And let me see. What else? What else? What else? I think that's it, man. I think that's what's it. I think that's what's it. Good God, boy. Look here. Other than that, I want you guys to do me a favor, man. Um, matter of fact, let me just do some acknowledgments real quick because I'm going to show enough. Go ahead and finish up this stuff that I got going on. And that flavor of that slaw just running all through my daggone mouth, man. It's time. Ooh, I got to get that in the fridge real quick. All right, let me just go ahead and I want to salute some people real quick. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Diva designing on a dime. What's up, Kimberly? How you doing, girl? I know y'all doing something on that outdoor patio. Y'all got to be doing something, Kimberly. I swear. Good to see you, my sister. Good to see you. All right. Oh. You know that up out the way. All right, so knowledge man, let's see. Um, Miss Horton, hey, how you doing? Um, who we got right here? Elijah. Um, is that right? How you doing? Um, I see my girl Miss Sims in the house. Patricia P. What's up? What's up? How you doing? You said you made it with some um purple cabbage. That sound good too. That's another good way of adding some color to your um to your slaw using that purple um cabbage. That's what I'm talking about. The Mika B say, Ray, if you so place I you better come on, girl. You better come on. You better come on. You better come on. I sell you a plate real quick, but before I sell you a plate, I had to give you, I had to fill your belly for free first, if anything. 
And my keys are coming up off of my keychain. Jesus, help me out. Okay, Mika B, we got you, girl. So if you took a road trip, I'll definitely fill your belly up. Who we got? Chronicles, how you doing? From Rocky Mount, North Carolina. You better enjoy it now and then. I got some people close to you over there in Tarboro, too. They live right there in Tarboro. Males, it's a, a perfect miracle whip. That's what I'm talking I prefer miracle whip, too. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> And um, G-Man say, what's up, Ray Mac? What's going down? Hey, nothing much. Nothing much at all, my friend. Just sitting back trying to enjoy the Memorial Day. Throw a little something on the grill. Enjoy family while I'm doing something on the grill. It's nice weather outside, so I'm going to try my best to enjoy the weather outside. And I'm thankful that it ain't going to rain, but it is going to be a little hot out here today. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This say 520. This say just... That's just extra sugar. Uh, okay, all right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I love look. I like my coleslaw just to be a little sweet, but not too daggone sweet the way you can't, you know what I'm saying, enjoy your food. The coleslaw crunching is so much. I thought it was more, baby. <laughs> you thought it was more baby video. Girl, wait till I put this in the fridge, though. Wait till I put this in the fridge. I'm telling you, once I put this in the fridge and let those flavors come together, man, I'm telling you, hot dogs, hamburgers, woo-wee. And then I got a couple of pieces of fish up in here, man. I'm just going to fry me up a couple of pieces. I ain't frying up everybody no fridge. Uh -huh. If anybody want fish, I'm going to tell them just like this right here. I'm going to leave a pot outside. I'm going to leave some grease outside. And if they want some fried fish, they can fry it themselves because I'm frying my own fish. I ain't going to do them, but just fry me a couple. That's all I'm saying. I got the already man to grill. At least somebody could either fry the fish or something. But um, you say we cooking up some chicken leg quarters and ribs. Ooh, Raymond Walker. Raymond Walker. That sounds real good, Raymond Walker. Raymond Walker. I want to take some leg quarters, strip all the meat off my leg quarters, I want to do at least around about eight lead quarters, and I got a cinder block um, pit cooker, and I just broke that area down, and I cleaned up around that area over there, and I'm going to take a pressure um, pressure washer and wash up some of my cinder blocks, and I'm going to put everything back together, but Raymond, this is what I want to do. Take some um, lead quarters, at least around eight of them. Like I say, strip all the, all the skin off of it, and I want to do some authentic style jerk chicken, man, on that fire pit, man. I want to do some authentic I, ain't, I might use some of that jaw stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I want to try to keep it authentic as possible. You know, some jerk chicken. I've been craving some jerk chicken, some beans and rice for the longest. And it's, I think it's time for me to go ahead and stop. You know, I got to feed that craving, man. And you said leg quarters. That sound real good. Rita, how you doing, Rita? How you doing? Happy Memorial Day to each and every one of you, man. I pray, I pray, I pray that you guys have a safe and prosperous holiday for every soldier, for every soldier that served in the United States of America. I just want to say thank you so much for every soldier, man and woman. I want to say thank you for your services. You guys are awesome. You guys were the one who pretty much laid down your life to protect this country. And I'm like this right here, man. I say everybody, man, have heroes. Um, I'm going to break it down to you. Everybody have heroes. And you might have, some people might consider Michael Jordan, you know, being the greatest basketball player of all time, a hero. You know what I'm saying? I just use that. I don't think he's the best or, you know, the best basketball player of all time. I'm just using it as an illustration. Some people think that, you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z might be their hero or something like that. Some people might think of any entertainer, actor, actress, or whatever like that as a hero. But for my service men and women who fought and who even served in the military branches of the United States of America, I salute you and I say thank you. Thank you so much for what you guys and gals had done to keep us safe in this your country. Exactly. That's what I say. All right. So other than that, other than that, I just wanted to come and show you guys this little video live showing you exactly how I make my cold, basic coleslaw, you know what I'm saying, on Memorial's Day. I want you guys to go out, man, and have a beautiful 
day on Memorial Day. If anything, if I can't say nothing else to each and every one of you, man, mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. Troy Boy Q, let me tell you, you put it out there, bro. You put it out there. You put it out there. Because when you look at the fact, man, that a lot of people who have basically gave their lives and have given the ultimate price, their life, they died on the fields, they died in the waters, they died in the air. And we have one of the soldiers that's at the Arlington Cemetery and they outright call him the unknown soldier, right? And if you look at it, we have a lot of fallen comrades, a lot of fallen um, soldiers who haven't made it home. And I salute the families to those soldiers as well. And I want to say thank you so much for your sacrifice, for you allowing your children, your husbands, your wives to keep us safe. But it was you guys who still paid the ultimate price. And... I'm a firm believer, man, that I believe that there should be some type of law, strong law, that should be passed by the House of Congress, but by Congress, by the Senate, by whomever in Washington, D.C. I wish that there was a strong bill. There might be a bill that's out there now, but I wish that there was a stronger bill that would take care of all the families who have lost loved ones. Children have lost fathers. Some children have lost mothers. Some um, ladies have lost their husband and some husbands have lost their wives in the act of war, where even serving the country. And I just wish, man, that, that the politicians could come together and make something better for the family members who have lost loved ones. And if there's something that's out on the, on the um, floor right now, I just pray, man, that they would come together, man, and let's get this thing right for the families. All right? So, all right, y'all. Hmm. We got to get off this thing when I start thinking about that because I got a son-in-law that's in the military. All right? So, again, this is how I make my coleslaw. I love each and every one of you guys. If no one told you today that they love you, let me just be the first one to say it. I love you, and it ain't nothing in this world you could do about it. But I got a straggly beard, though. My beard is straggly as a mug. I need to cut this thing off. Anyway, mwah, love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Tall man, I see you. What's up? Happy Memorial Day, my brother. All right? And you guys be good. Shay, Lachey, I see you too, girl. And I love you.